All right, these guys have been doing this for 37 years together. And they're gonna be playing right over there just a little bit later. I know you guys are anxious to go see them perform, but we're super excited to have them here at Off The Mound. Please welcome Robin Wilson and Jesse Valenzuela, the Jim Blossoms, folks. It's so great to be home. My favorite thing about coming home to Tempe is the smell of weed. <laughs> it's been an ongoing thing for a couple of weeks here now. Um, welcome back. Uh, excited, obviously, to play this festival. Always, always excited to come home and perform. Does it feel a little bit different? Because, like, I, I was a Canadian when I would go pitch in Montreal. It did. It felt like I was home. You know, I, I felt more grounded. Yeah, it, it feels great, especially since uh, we've come so far so far to make it all the way back home. Dave. Right, so my dentist is here today. <laughs> so you know you're home. Yeah, bought no tickets, right? You didn't have to leave those? Uh, no, he, he gets tickets. He gets tickets, a good dentist. Well, a good dentist. Yeah. You don't want him angry with you. Um, I mentioned off the top, 37 years doing this together. I mean, what an incredible feat because bands come and go, they disappear, um, but you guys have kept this going. Uh, how meaningful is that? Well, when we started out, we just wanted to, you know, make it, to get to South by Southwest, to get a song on the radio. Uh, to be able to sustain a career this long is, is not what we planned for, but it's incredibly gratifying. Yeah. Jesse, how do you feel about it? Uh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's it's a point of pride. I can't believe it's been that many years. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to believe. Close to 40 years, right? Yeah, 30, 37 years. I was 23 years old when I joined the band. Wow. So it makes you 50 now? I'm, I'm 110 <laughs> years old. When we put the band back together during the Truman administration. Nice, very nice. <laughs> Um, Robin, you recently, last year, got inducted. I think this is so awesome when I looked at the list of people in this, the Long Island Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, go figure. Wow. Yeah. So I've been inducted to both the Arizona Hall of Fame and the Long Island Hall of Fame, and uh, it's pretty hysterically funny. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so I, I've been living on Long Island now for about 20 years. Islanders but I, fan? But I, what's that? Islanders fan? Uh, somewhat. Yeah. Somewhat. Okay. I, I don't pay much attention to sports. Skateboarding is my favorite sport, so uh, that's the one that I watch. So you've been back in Long Island for over 20 years? Yeah, but I, I visit frequently. I have a boat out at Saguaro Lake, and so I try to come back every month and spend time on my boat. Yeah. yeah and I come here to eat Mexican food and stay with my buddies. <laughs> nice, very nice. Uh, Jesse, with the last name like Valenzuela, and then coming up on the music scene, did anybody think you were related to Fernando? Well, they still ask. They sure. still ask. Yeah. I would have rode that one out for a little while, you know. Get free Dodger tickets, show up to the games. My <laughs> uncle left them. Yeah, it was. It, I remember watching it when I was a kid. It was pretty amazing. Well, I think I'm same, the same age as he is, really. Yeah. So, but he I had saw, a nice I saw an interview you did. He, somebody asked about uh, what, you, what you thought about doing before music, and you actually said, I, I would have loved to play baseball and, and make millions of dollars. I would have loved to play baseball, but I was afraid of the curveball. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, that's yeah. why I went to pitching. Yeah. <laughs> I was better, much was better at throwing it than hitting it. a smart choice. Yes. Yeah. Um, in downtime, when you're not when you're not performing music, that's uh, you know uh, an avenue to write and be creative. What, what are some of your mediums or some of your you know catalysts when you're writing? What do you what do you choose to do? Is it a private den? Is it below the water? A roller I, skate roller? Uh, I try to uh, I try to hear new music. There's some uh, some new bands that I that, that I really love, and I try to. Uh, continue to be inspired. Uh, my favorite group right now is called White Reaper, an amazing band out of Louisville, Kentucky. I just discovered a new band this week called The Beaches. Fantastic. Yes. And so I, I'm i I'm always finding new music to, uh, to keep me inspired. And when I hear something that makes me feel like a teenager, when I used to work up the street at Tower Records, uh, when, I, when I get that feeling, I latch onto that band and I, I make it a part of my life. 
Yeah, the beaches were here last weekend at this uh, at the Indies Festival before this, so they're great, man. They're awesome. A ton of fun, too. Great energy. Yeah. Um, Jesse, for you, what kind of music are you listening to that soothes your soul? Uh, you know, lately I've been listening to uh, Joaquin Cooter, okay. Ry Cooter's son. He does this beautiful sort of folky music. Uh, that's kind of what I've been listening to. Really quiet music. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking back, touring around, going doing stuff. I'm always curious, like, was there ever a time when you were touring where you had a moment or a story or something that you could share where you guys thought, man, we're never getting out of this? Uh, yeah, yeah. Plenty. Plenty of moments where it Statue seemed... Statue limitations is fine. You can it seemed so pointless for a while. We spent... We spent about two and a half years touring between 91 and 93, and there were so many depressing moments where it felt like there was, there was no point to it at all. And I, was, I had gotten into a funk where I was kind of depressed, and I'll never forget we were on stage in Tampa, Florida, and I couldn't think of anything to say to the crowd in between the songs, and I looked over at our bass player, Bill, and I said, uh, what am I supposed to say to these people that I don't give a damn anymore? And Bill looks at me and he goes, fuck you, Robin. <laughs> and then right there was na 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 na, and we launched into Hey Jealousy. Um, I, I, that, that was a great, obviously, an album when uh, it came out, the, uh, the, the movie soundtrack. Um, and it was just a hit, and it still resonates with so many people. Um, having a hit like that, that is really generational, just keeps going and passing on. That, that is like extremely special, and not a lot of bands have that. It's, it's so great. Last night we performed in Indio, California for about a thousand people, and everybody's singing along to songs that we wrote in our bedrooms and that we first rehearsed around the corner. and. To be able to have that connection with people is very special, and uh, we're we're very humble and grateful that we get to do this. Nice. So, and we can go to any city in America and sell a thousand tickets or something. It's it's the brass ring as far as like if when you set out to be in an original rock band writing songs, that's all you can ever hope is that your music will connect with people and you be able to continue to do it. And times of all. Yeah. We age, we get a little bit older, we stay youthful at heart, but um, our, our fun times are different, right? When we're young, we're maybe partying or we're doing other things. As you get older, what do you do, Jesse, what do you do for your free time now when you're not playing music or performing? I wouldn't be at a show. If, no, uh, uh, no uh, live music. I wouldn't be at a live show for us. Well, you're playing it all the time, so that's Yeah, fine. no, I probably, uh, probably just hanging around the house. Take a walk. I like to take a walk. Nice. Right. Stay ambulatory. Yeah, long walks on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long walks on the beach. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, you guys working together all these years. Um, what's that relationship meant to you? Just to be partners in this for so long. Ups, yeah, ups and sure. downs, like a but uh, it's a it's a family. Well, is what it is. I can. Tr we're partners, and, and we. There's four of us, and there's a underlying trust. But like family, you can still do things to irritate each other. Yeah. Before breakfast. Yep. I know exactly. How Mostly that. we've learned just to get to the airport on time and <laughs> do your job. <laughs> Shut up. You know? um, favorite places that you've played? Favorite venues that you've been been to that you just you can't wait to go back to? I like the uh, Rams Head Tavern in Annapolis, Maryland. Sorry, what the was Rams that? Head Tavern in Annapolis, Maryland. What makes that place so special? Uh, so they have really good shepherd's pie. Oh, nice, yeah. yeah. There's a good British pub right down the street here in Tempe, yeah, yeah. the Cornish... Uh, the Cornish Pasty yeah, Company yeah, has good, good food. Um, and, you know, uh, we played pretty much everywhere just a few weeks ago. I played with another band called The Smithereens, and we played at the Ryman in Nashville. That was very cool. Um... And uh, we've we've always done really well in Columbus, Ohio, for some reason. So uh, you know, it, it, to me, it doesn't matter where we're playing. What what's important is that the band is healthy, and, and that we are on stage having a good time, and that no one on stage is pissed off at anybody else. If we can have that, it doesn't matter if it's a festival like this, or a casino, or an auto dealership parking lot. As long as the band is playing well, yes, we're doing okay. 
Uh, as athletes, when we go into places, like when you went into Yankee Stadium and you played at the old Yankee Stadium, it's almost like I could, you could feel it. You could feel the Babe Ruth and those guys that had been there before. It's this weird energy that you feel. It's a little bit scary as a visiting player. If it's your home park, it's a little more fun. When you go to these venues and you've played where they're historic, the Ryman and stuff like that, is there that sense of feeling like power, a little bit more power behind it? Well, if you play the Greek in Hollywood, you know, it's historic and you're absolutely right. So you get a sense of maybe you, you owe a little more to, to play a little harder, to play to your, play your fullest, to appreciate the moment, realize people have been doing this for a long, long time, and uh, to respect the tradition of a traveling musician. It's not an easy life and you sacrifice a lot of things like a baseball player yeah. and you stay away from family. But if you're in it, you should do your best and, and really appreciate what you have because people seem to enjoy uh, live music. I'm thankful for that. Yeah, they really do. But baseball players have more fun than musicians. Well, I don't know about that. Isn't that right? Yeah. I was watching Kid Rock the other night smoke a cigar in a suite at the United Center, and I thought, man, I couldn't light one up. They'd throw me out, but they had no problem letting him do it. Yeah. Um, what's next for you guys? More, Besides the show today. <laughs> more uh, more music. Uh, we're, we're hopefully going to be recording uh, sometime within the next several months. We've got a tour planned this summer where we're going out with our good friends Toad the Wet Sprocket and Vertical Horizon. Nice. And, uh, you know, we're going to be putting together uh, some uh, new music, uh, original songs, and, you know, just uh, plowing forward. You know, it, we, we've kind of got it down after all these years, and it's, yeah. it's pretty easy for us now. As, as, long as, uh, as long as we don't piss each other off, we're, we're, we do really well. Yeah, and at this point, you know, it's it's. Do you see yourself as something you're doing until you're 85 years old? Well, I don't know about 85. It's uh, as a singer, I have. We haven't had to change the key to lower the register for my voice yet, and so I'm hoping we'll get to a point where we we retire and we're still doing everything in the original key. Um, we're all pushing 60 right now, so we figure we might have another 10 years. Right on. In, in it. Um, and I, as long as everybody in the band stays uh, healthy and wants to continue to do it, then we'll we'll do it as long as we can. Nice. Well, I, I hope it's longer than another ten years, and we look look forward to seeing you guys today um, over there. Thank you so much for taking the time, Thank stopping Thank by you. the other right. day. Turn See you, Tempe. Peace and love. Robin Wilson, Jesse Bounds, with the Jim Blossoms, everybody.